Let's address the elephant in the room. A year-long race to create the vaccine is over, and a new one starts now. A race about which countries can bounce back and reopen their economy. There is no doubt that within a year, we will have more than enough doses to vaccinate everyone. So now, science and technology did its part, and what remains is our willingness to trust it enough to take the vaccine. This is Dr. Bertalo Meshku, and you're watching The Medical Futurist. Unfortunately, news of truly rushed and untested vaccines like the Sputnik V and misinformation campaigns from anti-vaxxers have poisoned the discourse around the vaccines, and that seriously jeopardizes our attempts to overcome this pandemic. Look, I don't want to sound ignorant to a perfectly understandable fear. It's very human to fear the unknown, and a vaccine and how it affects our bodies can be a terrifying abyss to look into. So, here is the deal. After testing most of the vaccines on tens of thousands of people and with millions already vaccinated, there is absolutely no data indicating any varying complications. When we talk about vaccines like from Pfizer, Moderna or AstraZeneca, you must know that there were no corners cut in the clinical trials and approval processes. These are up to all our standards and deemed safe by separate, independent regulatory bodies. The studies were published in high-level, international, peer-reviewed medical journals. Which means it's as transparent as it gets. If you are worried whether they were rushed, you must know that this was an unprecedentedly fast development. But there is a reason for this. The clinical trials took as much time as it required. The paperwork was the element that was quickened up. This time the whole world stood behind this task while pharmaceutical companies and regulatory agencies worked around the clock to make sure it all went smoothly and nobody had to wait years for a bureaucracy to catch up with research and development. If you worry about how the new type of mRNA vaccines work, you must know that even though these vaccines are the first of their kind to get an approval, the technology itself has been with us for almost a decade. We know it well enough and we understand the process deep enough to be able to say that it's safe to use. If you worry about the long-term consequences, you need to understand how these vaccines work. The mRNA itself degrades and leaves your body in a few days. What remains is the immune response, which will protect you from infection, the same way as if you had gone through an infection first and developed immunity after. You basically get the protection without going through the bad part. It's as simple as that. And if you're worried that a vaccine might be a sneaky way to get a tracking chip inside you, I don't know how to tell you this, but you are looking at a tracking device right at this moment. There is no need for anyone to bug us through vaccines. We do it ourselves. But think of the consequences of not taking the vaccine. I understand that many young and healthy people are not afraid of the virus, but it's not a binary situation. There is a whole spectrum between dying of the virus and surviving it, namely the long-term complications for those who live on. Complications that are actually real and well-studied, like heart failure, lung problems, mental health impacts, and so on. You can avoid all that with a vaccine shot actually too. You can also protect those who are in danger of dying from COVID. Parents, neighbors, friends. You have to think of them too. And most importantly, you have to think of the society we live in. If we are not able to vaccinate enough people, the death toll will keep rising, our economies will shatter, and this social isolation will keep going on for a few more years. So to make it clear, we can only leave COVID behind if we are all vaccinated. And that's why we at The Medical Futurist make a pledge that we will get vaccinated with any vaccine that is approved by the FDA, WHO or the European Medicines Agency as soon as possible. And we encourage and advise and hope that you do the same and we will finally turn a page on this awful period in our lives. And my personal pledge is that if you have any doubts or if you want to challenge any of these points, please leave a comment and I will make sure to personally reply to all of you.